<laughs> you know, someone who sees us won't even believe we just met. Every day has its DNA. Excuse me? Every day has its own DNA. Okay. If the DNA of today has its that we would meet, then we have no control over it. Oh, I, I have to go now. I don't want my friends to lock me out of the house. You don't have your own place? I do. It's a... Uh, it's a long story. Remember I told you, man. Um, I moved out of um, of the house I shared with my girlfriend and our daughter. Why? My girlfriend became a monster since she started earning money. And so you left your daughter because of that? No. Nothing can separate me from my daughter. Nothing. She had the perfect picture of what her ideal man should be. And I apparently didn't even feel into that. Yeah, well, all this is in the past now. You know, I'm just putting up with my friend for a while until so I'm able to sort of myself out. Hmm. Yeah? Um, let me let me drop you at home. We'll probably see you another time. Um, thanks for everything. I'll just tell him to get me a cab when I'm ready to go. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Please let me handle this. Excuse me? Please. Okay. How much is it? Okay, I don't. I'll see you later, eh? Thank you. Current. You can sleep on the bed in my room while I hold myself on the couch in the living room. Chima? Can I come in, please? Yes. Um, can I ask a favor? Can you at least ring your family? I'm sure they'll be worried about your whereabouts. I will. I'm down. Here. Lock the door from inside. I'm sure you are feeling vulnerable already. Good night. 
por mim. Did you hear that your sister is missing? I'm very hungry, Daddy. Dad, her phone is still switched off. Andrew knows a few places she frequents, and, and he's out waiting for me. Yeah. And ladies, how did you get to know about this? Do I have to repeat myself? No, Dad. Now speak! Auntie Vicky told us. Vicky? Yes. Vicky? Now, Vicky is no longer allowed in this house. Vicky is my sister. And they have a this family today. Darling, she cannot be a part of this family if our secret is not safe with her. Give me your phones, young ladies. I said, give me the phone. Daddy, Auntie Abby never calls me. The phone, now. I'll see you soon, Dad. Show some respect. Dad, you're not eating. I don't know why you all are killing yourselves over her. At least you should have called. She was with her boyfriend. Shut up. Look at her hair. Bookie, shut up. She was obviously on her back the whole night. Shut, shut up. What? I will say whatever my mind tells me to say. Can you shut up?
Mom. Let me brush my teeth. It's okay, I haven't brushed neither. It's just share our kicking bread. <laughs> I need to go and see Doctor Give it this morning. Your pills. I don't even want to have a boyfriend. Excuse me? I'm not having sex, Mom. You slept over at Chambers yesterday. Want to tell me what's just watching you like CNN? Mom, Chima and I are just friends for now. For now? That's the word. You don't know what would happen the next time we both meet. Please, for my own peace of mind, I needed to go get those pills. To exactly as I've said. Who's this? Dennis. Your father. Why why are you telling me this now? I'm sorry you had to find out this way. I forgot you were going up so fast. What a little girl in there. Dennis and I met when I was very young. He used to give me money for all kids. Yes. My father died when I was very young, leaving my mom with seven kids. Would have petty trading, traded every cash that she could get. One day, I went to Dennis' house to collect money as usual. But he pulled me very close to him, embraced me so tightly. I didn't want him to let go. He told me that he loved me, that marrying me would be the best thing that has ever happened to him.
You ain't coming in. Come on, it's Emma's birthday. Huh? I don't want any trouble today. Please. What trouble? See, see, her car is not even here. Yeah? We go in, I present the gift to her, have a couple of drinks and we dash off. Huh? That was in London, ma. And please don't spoil this enjoyable moment for me. Please, not today. Something is wrong with this wine opener today of all days. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's. Mom doesn't know I found out what she did. I think she was surprised. <laughs> Nothing, baby. It's Hey, mom. Kelly, go to your room. Go home. Now! Oh, 
Shima. Okay, where is your daughter's birthday present, sir? I'll, I'll send some money into your account tonight. Cheap. Please leave now. This is still my house, remember? I want you to leave this place right now. What, is she five? There's nobody like Sonny Bobo Ebano. You're lying. I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> I know his song. His name is Sonny Bobo. And then his last name is Ebano. There's nothing like Ebano. That was just a line he, he used for one of his tracks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> you know, I, I come here a lot to, to cool up. You've said that before. And you said that the first time we came here. So if I didn't know you, I'll say that you're scared right now. How? Oh. You look quite tense. I, uh, I've been thinking. I've been thinking about um, what it would be like to, for, for us to be together. Are you drunk? No. <laughs> Ever since we met, has there been any day we haven't seen each other i i mean to go see your family so we can be together forever I, if am... if i didn't know you <laughs> i'd have said you're scared say something anything anything will do I do want to spend the rest of my life with you, but my family will not approve of it. See, after I got home the other day, I, I mentioned your name, or rather your name just slipped out of my mouth, and my, my stepfather wasn't even happy about it. Why? I don't know. 
We cannot let them stand in our way. Sir, I am ready. I am right here. Right now, if you want us to elope, just tell me if it's going to be good for both of us. Okay, I'm ready. What do you use after we have made love to prevent pregnancy? Morning after. Why? Can you not use it again? Do you think this will work? I'm positive. If your stepfather sees how far we've gone, he will have no choice than to let us be. Why me? Because I love you. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Can I... Can I think about this? Dad is here to pick me. Okay. Is he outside? Yes. Okay. Make sure you're good, okay? Bye. Bye. So where is he? I don't know. He just called me on my phone. What's going on? Kelly would have gone out just now if I hadn't come down and stopped her. But I heard him talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. So where is he? Mom, don't cross-examine me. If I said I heard him talking on the phone, then I did. Daddy! Is that full up to now? I swear to God, I have no idea.
Why don't I take her in? Okay, please. Good afternoon, Auntie. Drop on child. Put her on her feet. Oh my god, but she's They are all back. First, Chima, I made him something very special. His favorite, precisely.
Simon, please, can I have Chima's number? I need to call him, it's very urgent. Excuse me? What have you not done to that man? I'm sorry. You want me to help you? How many times have I stepped in? between you and Chima to help salvage the situation. But yet you always upgrade your madness. Chima, what happened to you? You were this well-behaved, well-reserved girl who was so shy to go to the club or even parties with us. You were such a darling. You were meek, you were humble. What happened to you? I need you to help me. Please. I miss him. And I promise this will be the last time. I swear. Mmm. Something smells nice. Hmm? Looks nice and tasty too. I ordered it. Just go get a plate and serve yourself. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm there with me. Hmm? Where do you think you got this food from? Uh... Hello, stranger! I did not invite her here. She came this evening and she has refused to leave. I want to have a word with you. Where is my daughter? I will tell you about her when we are having our private chat. We can talk here. It is called a private chat. I'm listening. Okay. You don't have a problem with Simon in our private chat. You're not going to come with me? I will strip and you know I don't play. Chima, 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 Chima. Chima, you need to follow her inside now before she can stop this madness. Uh, Would you stop this? What's this? Stop this. Look at 
this one. What? When did you learn to say I'm sorry? Use this. Not me. It's not us, Mom. I'm being serious here. Mom, I'm sure whoever manufactured this apparatus also made another one. What are you saying? Mom, we can just get another one. Yes. So that you can test the urine right away. Yes, Mom. Ask Mother Teresa here. After all, she is split in between her legs like the rest of us in this room. Mother Teresa. Someone in this room is pregnant. It is not me. It is not Bisola. And I know it's definitely not Mom because she is certainly on a menopause. Oh, shut up. So, that leaves... As to you, Auntie Ibe, did you give Chima a freedom pass? Abby, you're not saying anything. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> After everything else, would you? Oh, no. You? And you are the angel in this house, always looking so holy. I'm sure she made a mistake, Mom. It wasn't a mistake. We planned it. We? Chima asked me to marry him and I accepted. Could you please show me something that will prove to me that he actually asked you to marry him? She means maybe an engagement ring. Or a rope. A whistle, anything. Yeah, it is so beautiful. Oh Thank my you, god. Why oh, am I not blind? Mm. Because you're a bat, stupid. Yeah, whatever. Congratulations. Thanks, Mom. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, when can we see him? <laughs> He's a very shy person. But don't worry, I'll invite him to come. Okay. Does he know you're pregnant? I just found out myself and... So he doesn't know? Okay. How about you give him a call? Give him the good news. Um, let me go get my phone. Okay. You have to play your sister for once. And please put it on speaker. She must phone in case that is the person you intended to reach. Who are you? His sister, Shemwe. Oh. Okay. Um, just tell him I called, okay? Hold on for him. You have a call. Chima? 
Um, you didn't tell me you, you ha ha had a younger sister. Anyway, um, I'm pregnant. Uh, hello? Hello? Jima, did you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said you're going to be a daddy. Um, that's, 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 that's good news. But I'll, I'll have to call you back. Okay. I think he's busy at the office. Or maybe they're having some family meeting with his sister. <laughs> what? I'll be in my room. I'm a big oil. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, mommy. Just a few months of our separation, you already got another woman pregnant. You know I hate to masturbate. Because wherever my semen lands, a child germinates. I hope you say the same thing when a child germinates when your semen has landed tonight. Mama said you haven't been calling her. Hmm? Your mother. You haven't spoken with my mother? Well, she promised to come see her granddaughter. Did you think of what you'll stay first? In our house? With us? Your family? How will I be here and my mom will be staying with you? No, she will be staying with all of us. And tell that little girl to get rid of that baby before I set my eyes on her. Yeah, who's it? Chima. Oh. You've been knocking. I didn't know you were coming. Where's she? Where's who? Who, who are you talking about? Where's who? Where's who? The one that answered your phone when I called to tell you that I'm pregnant. Excuse you? You heard me right. You're pregnant. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So I called to tell you the good news, but then some girl answered your phone saying, 
claiming she's your sister. She passed the phone to you and I spoke with you. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. I'm listening. Actually, I was, I was at my daughter's place earlier. I went to see my daughter and Hamala sees my phone. But I spoke with you. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. The number you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Oh, you almost gave me a heart attack this night. Why? Oh, you, you thought the girl that answered was my companion? Well, to be honest, I, I just, I didn't know what to think. Come here. I gotta go. Why? I sneaked out of the house just to come clear the air for myself. So, you're still going to meet with her family? Yes, they want to meet up with me. So, I'm going. Prima, which of these two ladies are you going to marry? Isn't it obvious? It certainly isn't to me. Chiwe slept here the other night. Abby virtually lives here. I didn't invite Chiwe here. From the drama she put up the other night, I can't recall you telling her to leave. Chima, you have to admit it. You still love Chima. <laughs> and your problem is, she knows it too. You ain't coming with me? Nah. You're welcome once again, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, yes. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, sir? I will take a good look at the building. Yes, sir. You will notice uh, she's pregnant. And uh, who's responsible for that? The, the baby is mine, sir. Ah, you accept that the baby is yours. Good, good. Very good. You see, this is my family. And we are a family of loving people. Now, you are one of us. Sir, I'm glad you now consider me family, sir. Thank you. Um, thank you. Sir, this is such a, a lovely estate. Well, thank you. Well, we're quite blessed in that regard. You know, if you negotiate this bender, yeah, mm. and on the other side, on the right side, there is um, oh, an event center with a capacity of five thousand people sitting. No, that's a that's a bit too much. Oh well, it depends on what you want to do with it, you know. Depending on what you want there. And then I just sent to that is um, a, a shopping centre, so a mini shopping mall, really. We actually self service in this uh, estate here. Yeah. Everything we need is within the estate here. That's, that's very good. Yes, yes. Um, 
You see, son, I, I don't mean to put you in a spot. But what do you do for a living? Um, <clears throat> I, I work as a delivery driver, sir. So. Ah, okay. What, you, you own your own company? Yes, it's actually my company. I, that's what I came back to set up with, with my friend. Oh, magic. That's, that's good. That's good. Now, how, how about your, your living arrangements? Do you own the property where you live? Actually, I, I, share, I share a flat with, with a friend. Well, I mean, it's okay. We, we, we all did at one time or another. <laughs> Don't we all? Yes, yes, I see. So, how about um, your qualification? I mean, educational qualifications. I have a master's degree in business administration, sir. Oh, magic. I'm quite impressed. Thank you, sir. Quite impressed. Oh, wow. Well, I think what I've... How about um, uh, provide you with um, a substantial amount of money, you know, to fund um, you setting up a, a company of your own? I would say that that would be a bit too much. No, that's what we love to do. I really appreciate that. Thank you, sir. I knew you were like that. <laughs> I knew you were like that. That's very good. Uh, in fact, that would be after your, your traditional wedding, of course. Okay? Okay, sir. Yes. Yeah. You can see that um, God has now blessed my wife and I with, uh, with a son. So, can I call you son? Of course, sir. Of good. course. Good. 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 Well, we appreciate that. And, um, but, um, son. Sir. I hope you don't mean well of with my daughter and my family. Of course, sir. I, I love your daughter so much. I mean well, sir. Very good. Very good. You can see that my family is a very lovely family. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that you've been becoming part of the family, you can also enjoy the peace and, and love that we have. Uh, in our family. I'm, I, I'm actually glad that you, you consider me family now, sir. You're welcome to the family, son. I didn't even know we could pull that deal. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, we did a good job. Uh, but you fear her now. You know they fear Diola. Shut up! Shut up! But why did you do it? Why did you do it when she asked to do it? Eh? You are not scared of her. You want, you want to defend yourself. <laughs> yeah, you stupid girl. You don't fear her, God! That's what I'm about. You don't fear her. <laughs> ah, well, I don't know. May yeah, I just do? I'm waiting. What do you do? That office said don't tire me. I'm just putting myself together. I'm going out tonight. My papa don't come carry him come out. My father took her and she's not home. Mm. Ah, I know, right? She's growing taller by the minute. Mm. I'll go try to sort them out later. Ah. Baby, something just came up. Let me call you back. Bye. All right, darling. Love you. Every two. Are you okay? Yes. What, what did I tell you about this lady? Have I not told you to, to avoid her? Mom, mom, she's anti Kelly. Happy. She's anti what? Anti who? Auntie. Is she a member of my family? Don't prove it. Tell you how sweet your auntie. Stop all that. Why? Because I said so. 
and it's past your bedtime. Upstairs. But I just want to. Hey, oh, oh, go get go upstairs. Hey. Dad, you got a house for Auntie Abby, right? Yes, we know. She told us. Mm -hmm. That wasn't meant to be a secret. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Dad, I hope you're going to get something for us when we get married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to even ask me that. All you have to do is be good, be good girls, make me proud. You may even get better than that. Yeah, your sister has been good. She has made me proud and she got what she got. Really? I'm gonna be a good girl, Dad. Well, you better be. Dad, I don't understand. I've not been a good girl. You are a good girl sometimes. Some... But you will do better. Be a good girl. <laughs> yes. See this. Oh, it's beautiful. Bookie got this for me. Bookie? Bookie! Oh, that's such a nice gesture, Bookie. That's nice. I didn't think or ever thought that you will ever do this for me. Or even thought of being nice to me. Thank you. You know I love you, right? <laughs> Big head, come here. Hello, I have something for you too, Auntie. Huh? Someone is jealous? What? What? What is it? The love and respect I've shown you all this while, which she never did. Aww. Aww. Now, carry your stubborn self and come here. <laughs> Money, please. Mm, you know I love you. Both equally. Mm? Mm -hmm. Thank I love you. you too. Well, you young ladies don't know what this has done for me. I live for this. It's a joy to me to see my daughters happy together. 
Thank you, Daddy. Okay, let me try this one. And you both know that you can always come visit me at my husband's house. Me and my husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh this is pretty. Oh. How do I look? Ah, Chima. You found me. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, I called Abby and she said you'll be at the clubhouse. Yes, yes, I, and I relax in here from time to time. <laughs> oh, you brought me a person. Good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And, uh, oh, grab a seat, grab a seat. No, 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 no sir, I'm, I'm fine. I just wanted to talk to you briefly. Oh, are you okay? Yes. Um, sir, I really appreciate all your family has, you know, done for me. You but, know, you're um, your family. I'm sorry, I, c I cannot accept this gesture. What is this, Chima? It's the check that you gave me to support my business. What? Why return it? You need it. I know, sir, but I wouldn't be able to carry on with the with the wedding. But, but why? Things are already put in place. Why? Sir, I um, <clears throat> I didn't mention earlier, but uh, I have a daughter. And her mother is pregnant again for me. You don't need a glass and have a drink? No, no, sir. I do need a drink. <laughs> oh, yes, I need a drink. You know who he is? No. And you let him in? Sorry. Again? Well, I am. I'm Tunde Johnson. I'm Jordan's father. Well, you won't even offer your guest well, a drink or a seat or something. Only the ones I invite in. Oh, right. Right. See, uh, Chima has refused to go on with the traditional wedding because you threatened that you killed yourself and your daughter. It wasn't a threat. Oh. Well, you see, I can't watch your children destroy yourselves. Chima and I plan to get married someday, so your daughter appeared from nowhere. Well, I understand you were separated before they met. He was very hardworking and full potential when we met. But for some reason, I don't know why, he got very lazy. So I sent him out to get his acts together and move back in. Mm -hmm. More like um, uh, a trial separation. Exactly. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Well. Isn't there something we can do to solve all this, huh? May I have a pen, please?
I have here a check for 10 million naira. I mean, it's not much, but I'm sure it will take you quite far. Please, let Shima marry a woman of no hope of his choice. This is two million naira check. This is all I have. Give it to your daughter and tell her to leave my husband alone. Something tells me in your heart that you think that the only thing that can make your daughter's marriage successful is if I die. I don't know. No, no, no. No. Of course no. But what are you doing with that? Leave my house. Oh, all right, all right. Now, oh, please, Dan, be, be careful with that, please. Okay. You think I'm broke? Yes, my daughter. Don't cry no more. Mm. Okay. You will be okay. Have I ever denied you anything because you're not my child? Or have I ever deprived you anything whatsoever because you're not my flesh and blood? No, Daddy. I will never do that. My daughter. You are my child. That makes your child my child. Everything that I need will be provided. And God will give you both a bright future. Stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. 